so I have an iPhone 12 Pro Mini here and it's stuck at this screen switching to black screen recovery mode uh, before this it was stuck on the Apple logo and it was just repeating um, it did let me put it into recovery mode but it won't go past this stage so this is Aaron with iBoard Repair and iPhone Data Recovery and uh, this phone is giving me lots of problems as you can see it's water damaged and I've done quite a few quite a bit of work to it already I split the board I removed a, a lot of capacitors that were short. It had a main short on it when I first opened it up. Um, I removed this chip because it had a lot of corrosion underneath it. I believe this is either a camera chip or an audio chip. I'm not quite sure. Um, I replaced Yangtze here because there's also a lot of corrosion around there and there's corrosion underneath it. So um, that's not that hasn't fixed anything for me yet. I'm still stuck on the Apple logo here. So I was able to connect to a computer as you just saw and it's not switching to black screen recovery mode. I have a suspicion about what I think this may be. Um, I think it may be EEPROM related. I'm not 100% sure but that's where I'm seeing the most damage still. I do also know there's a bit of corrosion around these two uh, chips. I believe these are audio chips so there may be a problem here. Um, I believe this is a uh, an IC that connects me to the computer. Something to do with uh, charging logic. Um, so those are all still suspect, but I do know I have a lot of corrosion right here, and this goes to my EEPROM, as well as it went over to this this resistor here, which goes to this chip. And if I just tilt the EEPROM sideways. I can see a bit of corrosion underneath underneath there. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna see if that resistor is loose. I'll probably have to replace it. And then it may lift the EEPROM and I wanna see if this will help me get past that error that I'm stuck at. That resistor definitely doesn't look good to me. Yeah, that's loose. So maybe this is my problem. So I'm gonna see if I can find an equivalent resistor to that. Um, unfortunately, the iPhone 12 mini doesn't have um, net names on ZXW, so it's hard to tell what the lines are. So I just noticed that um, it finally uh, went away from that screen. It's giving me error code 4045. This is a code I've never seen before, so not sure what that means. On ZXW here, however, this is the resistor we're looking at. As you can tell, it goes over to this EEPROM. I believe that is like my 1v2 line. So if I look at a 12 Pro, which does give me net names, I should be able to get a better idea of what line I'm working with here. The EEPROM on the 12 Pro is right here. Yeah, look, that's the 1v2 line. This one has a lot more resistors connected to it though, so I can't really get a good value. It does probably look like it's that one actually. And this is a 4.7K resistor. Let's see if we can kind of see if that's in the same spot on the other one. So it's a, uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, open line pads right next to it. Let's see if that's the same on the other one. No, that's a different one. I don't think I'm going to be able to find the exact one. So I do have a donor board. It's just a shame to have to start harvesting parts from it because at this point it's still untouched and I'd, I'd like to use that for a CPU swap if I have to at some time. So I accidentally pressed stop recording while I was first putting this on. I mean, it's just about all the way on, but I think I'll just touch it with a 
with my uh, iron here to get it all the way on. I was mentioning that I was just going to take a measurement and try to find an equivalent resistor. Um, but it was giving me like an, uh, a fluctuating reading and I was, it was kind of hard to tell what the measurement actually was so I, I just decided to harvest it after all. I think it's on there. It doesn't want to move too much and I don't want to destroy the resistor. So let's see if it does anything different now. So I'm very happy to report 051597. It is it is turning on and it is connecting. We're in. Awesome. So that's great. I wasn't sure if that was actually going to work. Just so you can see again, it was this resistor here that went bad that was causing the won't switch to black screen recovery mode. So again, I'm not quite sure the value of this resistor, but this is the 1V2 line that goes to the EEPROM here. So that's a, this is completely new information. I've never heard of this at least, so I'm glad to have discovered it. I hope you find this uh, video useful and stop by again. Thanks. Bye.